Tar, written and directed by Todd Field and starring Kate Blanchett, follows the unraveling of conductor Lydia Tar, leading up to a live recording with the Berlin Philharmonic. Lydia falls into familiar patterns and fends off past ghosts while trying to maintain her relationships and public image. Mm. Decent little Nazi there. It's a good synopsis. There. It's, it's a, a little wordy. A little it's, wordy? This is, this is a very simple uh, synopsis. How would it's, you do it? It's about a conductor that gets canceled. She better get canceled. <laughs> she it, she does. Boy, she has it coming. <laughs> she she does. This one is a 90% on Rotten Tomatoes with a 72 audience score. Uh, the large conversation that will probably be had with the movie Tar is Kate Blanchett mm -hmm. because this whole movie kind of revolves around the performance of Kate Blanchett and the character of Lydia Tar as it should. Yes, she is awesome in it. Uh, this is a long movie. Mm -hmm. It's 158 minutes, and it reminds me Two of... hours and 37, if you're keeping track. You're mm. not good at conversions. I don't know if uh, it would go from 158 to 237, the two hours and 37 minutes. Do you lose a minute when you... <laughs> uh, when you... Yes. Push it? Yeah, it's it's uh, inflation. No, it's uh, the angel share. <laughs> Do you know what that is? That's ah, the angel share. <laughs> you, you lose a minute. It's the angel minute. Yeah. So that's tar. <laughs> um, but uh, this movie reminds me of a movie that isn't long and doesn't have a similar story to this. Okay. But you'll get why it reminds me okay, of it. Let's hear it. It reminds me of Nomadland, where it doesn't remind me of that because I still haven't seen you it. You never saw Nomadland? Never saw it, no. Okay. That movie I felt was made so. Francis McDormand could flex for a little bit. Okay. Which, uh, by that point, I was very well aware of yeah. what she could do. We don't need to to like have a Kate Blanchett uh dis like display or right. showcase. So no. So I'll say like in the case of Nomadland, I was like, oh, we already know. I would take a better movie than just something where it's like, hey, look at this awesome actor go off T to. But also in the case of yeah, this, what, I was is, gonna say, what are you talking about? Like Kate Blanchett was like the the multi nominee last year, right? So I'm yeah, yeah, yeah yes, but I'm 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 in the case of Nomadland. I'm like, did you really need to make this movie? I think that Kate Blanchett could stand to have a seminal. She owned this best actress sort of movie, okay. whereas you'd gotten that before with um with McDormand. Yeah, this is her version of that. I don't know if it's a great movie. It's a great performance, though, and a great character. So my my like takeaway is that I think that this is a very good movie. That it's just not for me. It's it's a very good movie that I I can find f issues with, and I didn't particularly enjoy it. And it feels weird to say that, but there are a lot of things to appreciate about this movie. Number one being Kate Blanchett's performance, but like tech in like all technical categories, this movie is awesome. Mm -hmm. But um, it's two hours and thirty eight minutes, thirty seven. Someone with Angel would say, yeah. yeah. Um, it feels like it could be at least twenty minutes shorter, and the twenty minutes that I would cut off, at least twenty minutes completely this movie sucking its own dick like this movie fillets itself like crazy how so uh it is just like so the my my biggest complaint about this movie is that it takes about an hour and 10 minutes for something important to happen mm -hmm. and the hour and 10 minutes at the front is not not important but you don't know why it's important until you get to to like when something important happens or to the end. Yes. There are so many things that happen in this movie that seem like they're happening for no particular reason until you get to the end. And I guess you can make the case like that, it, that they're still serving a purpose, which they are in the end. But if you're, if you're watching on first viewing, you're going to have, or at least I had a hard time being like, 
what is the point of this? What are we doing? Yes, yeah, so the, the, there is a massive what is the point of this? And it's just real. It's character development and character development right. and character development. And, and and they do a good they honestly do a good job of of character development. Yes, yeah. Because Lydia Tarr is a great character. And the world that they build, which is a world that I'm not particularly interested in, like uh, uh, classical music and orchestra and stuff, I'm not particularly interested in any of that. But it was like pretty interesting to me to watch how that world sort of operates. Yeah, I mean, basically, it, you could use the 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 orchestra is the White House in House of Cards or whatever. Like mm-hmm, it, mm-hmm. you're just taking Frank Underwood and you're getting in the weeds. Them, yeah, right. And that that that's who this character reminded me of, Frank Underwood. Where it's like this is somebody who's probably shaken enough hands but has stabbed so many people in the back or screwed so many people over. Uh, this person, very, very big uh, Lydia Tarr on sexual favors, <laughs> yeah. just really stoops her way it's, from first chair to, to kingdom come. So I I think that I think that Lydia Tarr and Frank Underwood is somewhat of an unfair comparison because I do think that there's more humanity. Less murder from Lydia <laughs> yeah. Tarr. Yeah, like I think... Ah, actually. <laughs> it's, I think it's less black and white. Yeah. Uh, it, it's less black and white. I think Lydia Tarr is a is a somewhat sympathetic character at times, but you do recognize that like all of her all of her relationships are very transactional. She is very like hyper focused on her career, the one thing that she cares the most about. And like if you're not serving that purpose, you can get the fuck out. And yeah. that can be very off-putting in terms of like a, a like a character and and morality standpoint. There are there are sympathetic tendencies I think though. I two things I really liked about this movie uh other than Kate Blanchett's performance. Uh Mark Strong was very good in it, which he's they did him going to fucking be. dirty though. They Yeah, look they how gave they, him look hair. how they massacred my boy. They gave him hair and made him uglier, which yeah. to anybody who I know that people can be self-conscious about losing their hair and everything, rubbish with that. Well, look it, no further than Mark Strong. Yeah, but you you have to have the right skull. Yeah. Mark Strong has the right skull you to got be that bald. Head, boy. Him and Stanley Tucci, both very bald, very sexy men. Right, right, very good. Uh, yeah, they they ugly him up a bit, but he's very good in it. Uh, the other thing that I just th- I think is great, like the final forty minutes of this movie. Yeah, when once you finally re- once unravel, you, once you you're re- like, oh, I am in. Once you realize what the point is, yeah. you, you're like, okay, hell yeah. Like, is anybody going to come for her at some point? Mm-hmm. And everything comes for her uh, all at once, pretty quickly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I will say just. A, little nitpick a video floats around that uh, gets her in trouble that would and it that is would, the choppiest most clearly edited video that would never pick up steam like not, never pick up steam not in a million years no. and especially not, not to uh besmirch uh my, my my musician friends but like if that were going around people would be like and this is a conduct. What? Who is the? What? Yeah, yeah, right. Why do I care? Why am I upset? This person's young. How many people on TikTok? It seems like they're all how many doing people, music stuff with each how other. How many people on TikTok are gonna be like, "Ooh, this famous composer did something controversial." But I will say the um the Juilliard scene yes. is an incredible scene, and it's great because it's kind of a fake out because it makes you think, okay, so this is the good guy here, mm-hmm. and. Oh, nice. This is she's dealing with a student who is uh, maybe leaning too far into identity He's politics. Very woke. Yes, right. And he says he doesn't like Bach because uh, nailed it. I'm always so afraid to say that name uh, because uh, that he had a million kids and uh, it, it, he eventually says, "Look, I'm sorry. I just don't like cis white composers." Mm-hmm. And she, the, I wrote down. I wrote down one of the lines that she said. So did uh, I. Don't be so eager to be offended. The narcissism of small differences leads to the most boring conformity. That is a fucking bar. Yeah, that you're is, like, okay, I'm on board with, the, with that, this character. That, that is that is like the 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 first thing that I was like, oh shit, this movie has got has got it. It was um, also though a little. Um, did you watch the newsroom? Yeah, you it know, like that it, first it, scene that yeah, everybody loved. It definitely it definitely had a bit of like. They know this is a bar, right? Yeah, and, like, it, w- and it was like delivered to be a bar. Yes. So that, so yeah, that, right. I d- I do agree little, with you. Little grain of but, salt. Great line though. But great line. Uh, the her stance on identity politics in that in that scene is so good. Yes, and then you continue to watch, and you're like, all right, a little little trouble there, a little bending <laughs> the rules there. 
stealing uh. your wife's medication. And oh, <laughs> all right. Probably wouldn't do that. <laughs> oh, that person's died, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when things come for her finally in the last 40 minutes, it's great. And you leave it being like, wow, like, what a performance and what a story. And then, But then you kind of snap out of it and you're like, how was it given to me, though? Was it yeah. just one good performance mm -hmm. and a nice ending? Because I don't love how it was given to me. Yeah. I really don't. I I don't love how it was given to me. Um, like I said, I think that this is a movie um, that I will appreciate more on a second watch, knowing where everything is going and what the purpose of it is. But it's two hours and 37 minutes, and you spend over an hour being like, where are we going? Why am I here? When they play Do you the have a clips from you, this at the Oscars, though, people are going to yes. be like, what is this movie and how do I see it as soon as possible? It starts out with a like a 12 minute uh, like sit down New Yorker interview. Yeah. And it's that. So that's what I mean by it. Like it fillets itself too much. It's it. It's sort of like the James Cameron thing where it's like you're going to be interested in this and you're going to see it again. It's I don't I don't like that. I want you to convince me that this is a good movie. Uh, what do you get this on Letterboxd? Uh let me check. Where I'll give it in the activity? meantime. I had a tough time because if oh, you could give here. 3 and 3 quarters mm -hmm. of a star, yeah, so that's, that's what I would give. You. God damn it. So I gave it I gave it three and a half <laughs> at first and then I bumped it up to 4 because I I assume that I'm going to rewatch it in the near future and I think it's going to be a 4 the second time that I watch it but I initially landed 3 and a half. That's a pro move. So I gave it a 3 and a half and I stayed there but you're right when we rewatch these I will get all in my feels about uh, the performance. I, I I I'm I'm okay giving it a 4 right now before the rewatch just because of how much I liked the Lydia Tar character. Yeah. And it's again like it's a great character it's a great world that they built for the viewer i just don't love how they made you live in it shout out the fashion as well loved lydia's clothes all the, uh, all the technical categories lot are of, so good a lot of like androgynous stuff mm -hmm. and a lot of like oh i can make that fit happen and and, and i'm going to make and that fit sort happen. of like the the regression in how much she takes care of herself oh, as yeah. her life unfolds yeah. um and kind of unravels she's a slopposaurus at the end yeah and and like is extremely sort of um like taken care of at the beginning mm. so uh, i like how they do that the character develop development is so good all right that is that is tar